Slay Queens, what's up? I miss you guys so, so, so much. We got so much to talk about. Um, I'm going to be going over so many things, where, where I've been, um, my future as a makeup artist. I'm releasing a beauty line. Um, I have a couple of my lashes here that I'm about to drop. That I want to show you guys so if you are our new subscriber then you are right on time because I have revamped my whole brand and I am now Cherie Marie Beauty and I'm going to be coming out with so 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 much stuff for you guys so if you like to see this look that I'm about to create it's my everyday natural beat with my signature red ombre lip so if you would like to see that and if you would like to see my lashes and if you also want to talk to me because I haven't talked to you guys in a long time then stick around don't forget to thumbs up this video hit the subscribe button right here I think it's either right here or right here I have to get used to my new little subscribe button at the bottom of my video but click that button and subscribe so let's get into this video here he is so, I did my eyebrows off camera because since COVID-19 has happened, I have not been able to get my brows done due to the nail salon being closed. So, I, it's open now, but I haven't had a chance to get to the nail salon. So, this here is pretty much me making a miracle happen, and it took a long time. So, I'm like, let me do that off camera because it would take a long time and I really want to get right into it I've already washed my face um, and moisturized it but I'm going to start with putting on some primer I'm gonna be using a Fenty Pro filler primer because this is my favorite it's really my favorite because I realize with doing makeup others or myself Makeup does not go on right without primer. So what am I gonna talk about first? First, let's talk about what's been going on in the world, okay? A lot of stuff has been going on, and since this year has started, I told myself like, you know, this is gonna be my year. I'm gonna be releasing, um, I'm gonna be releasing like new products and like i just felt like this was gonna be my year you know then COVID 19 happened and it really just set me on my behind um for a few months i was working at a shop i was only there for a few weeks and then the shop closed down and so we were all sitting still for a little bit and um now everything's fully opening back up but with the numbers of the COVID going up I feel like everything's gonna be shutting down again pretty soon. So that goes into the future of me being a makeup artist. So I've been a makeup artist for a very long time. Um, I've been doing makeup for a very long time. And when COVID happened, I just felt like, how am I supposed to make money? And oh, I'm gonna be using the NARS um, natural radiant long wear foundation and the color Tahoe so I was thinking to myself like you know I can't make this like a long-term career if as soon as it you know the city or the, the state shuts down I won't be able to make money so it made me think about a lot of things you know it made me think about a lot of things as far as my career you know like is this something that i want to do long term because my business you know pretty much runs off customers so if i don't have any customers coming in or if i'm not allowed uh, um able to service my customers then how am i going to make money and I had just recently launched launched my lash line and I mean thank goodness my lashes did sell out and that's what made me think like you know what well, maybe I need to look into you know having more of a beauty line 
and having more of um, guaranteed, ooh, look at that, period, guaranteed um, income. And then also with a lot of things that's been going on, you know, the killing of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, a lot of black owned businesses are encouraging others to own more, to do more. And a lot of you guys may or may not know, but I am a real estate investor and um, I buy properties and fix them up, rent them out, flip them, sell them. Um, and that's on my other YouTube channel, um, Mrs. Do It All. I'll put the link below. And that channel, I'm pretty much, I haven't launched it quite yet, but it will be the behind the scenes of me as a mom, a momager, um, a real estate investor. Um, it pretty much covers everything on that channel. That's why it's called Mrs. Do It All. Because I pretty much do it all. Um, but yeah, so that made me think about makeup is something that requires my hand and if i die today or tomorrow my kids can't start the slave faces in order to you know get them th get them by so i'm like i need something that doesn't necessarily rely on me and my talent to make sure that my I'm sorry if I'm looking over here you guys because my mirror is over here um I can't rely on just my talent to you know provide for my kids when I'm long going so I really want to focus more on the real estate side and I want to focus more on my cosmetic line because those are things that will create income for my kids without me having to use my hands. So that lead me to think like, what is the future of me being a makeup artist? I've, I love doing makeup, especially on myself. So I really wanna focus more on my channel and I really wanna focus more on branding my cosmetic line and I wanna focus more on buying real estate. So, I've come to the conclusion that I no longer want to be a makeup artist for other people because for one, it's very risky right now with COVID. And I know that a lot of, um, I know that a lot of salons open back up and I just personally don't feel comfortable with getting right back to it and you know doing doing makeup i just i just don't feel comfortable and i don't want to put my clients at risk and i don't want to put myself at risk so i've come to a conclusion that i'm gonna leave that part of my career behind and start to focus on more things that is um passive income like properties, rental properties, um, you know, having merchandise for sale, things like that. And then focusing on the makeup part, just strictly on my YouTube channel, because I love doing makeup on myself. Um, and rather a government shutdown or not, um, I can make money from my YouTube channel um, in the midst of a pandemic. So basically being a makeup artist is not recession proof. So anything that happen and my business will be shut down with being a makeup artist. So I just had to make a smarter decision for my family, what was best for my family, what was best for me. And that's what I had to figure out. So that's, you know, it in a nutshell with, you know, why I'm deciding not to do makeup anymore because it's not recession proof and I need to do things that are more lucrative and more on a passive income basis. So that's that. <laughs> now about Cherie Marie Beauty. Um, but yeah, so I've 
always, 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 always wanted to have my own lash line. But I never knew how or where to get started. I never knew. And I didn't have people around me who were selling lashes. So I was working at the salon and one of the girls at the salon, she said that she sold lashes. And I'm like, well, I didn't want to ask her who her vendor was. Because I, I heard it like that's like, you're not supposed to ask someone like who's their vendor. I heard like that's like the code. Like you're not supposed to ask nobody who's their vendor. So she was like, you know, just go on YouTube. No, not YouTube. She said, go on Instagram and hashtag um, lash vendor. She said, that's how I felt my lash vendor. And um, I did that. So I went online and I looked up the hashtag and I found a few lash vendors and at the time me and my girlfriend was thinking about um, launching a lash line and we both didn't know where to start so I bought the list I sent the list to her and we was like all right you know we're gonna start researching so we started researching she started getting mad samples I started getting mad samples and you know she went with some other vendors that were on the list i went with one vendor one vendor on the list and we kind of went from there and so you know long story short i launched my lash line i'm sorry ladies this was the Too faced it born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in the color warm sand and this was the tarte uh, shape tape in the color medium tan so yeah so sorry I always spray in between every layer honey you gotta spray in between every every layer so yeah so lashes came my girlfriend was like you know you gotta You guys I am so irk so basically my sound went out I don't know what happened I thought it was I had my microphone on but I don't know what happened but I was saying that my girlfriend um, you know she said it's time for me to make a logo so she suggested that I go on Etsy and um, create a logo which I did I went on there I made my logo and so when I talked to my vendor they asked me if I wanted my logo on the packaging and I was like yes so they put the logo on the packaging and they sent me a sample of what it looked like and I like fell in love and so when they sent it out it just looked so nice together the way the packaging was and with the logo with the lashes I was just ready to just sell so I wound up selling out of lashes in like about two weeks. So I was really, really proud of myself about that. And after like conquering my fear, it wasn't even like a fear. It was like just the not knowing. So having something with your name on it and people wanted to buy, it just made me want to buy more and put my name on more things. So now I've decided to come out with Cherie Marie Beauty it's like I want to come out with a lip gloss and lip liner with lipstick. I want to have different beauty accessories. Like I just want to put my name on everything because after buying something, well not even buying something, after putting your name on a product that you actually tested and you love and people loved it too, it just becomes addictive. So that's where Cherie Marie Beauty came from. I wanted to not just launch lashes. I wanted to have a whole line of different items that I love to use myself and I know that people would love to use too. I really can't remember everything that I said in this video. I do remember talking about like homeschool and how homeschooling was with my kids and um, so for this part, I'm just going to speed it up and um, let you guys just enjoy me doing my makeup. I'll explain some things that I'm doing in the makeup, but I really just want to get to the other parts that actually recorded. So just sit back and enjoy this little bit of a tutorial.
and i'm so sorry guys but trust and believe there will be more videos coming and this will not happen again so right now i'm about to go ahead and sculpt my face out with this Too Faced um concealer and i'm going to give myself a nice bronzy warmth to my face by doing my um contour Okay, now that we're all sculpted and bronzy, let's get into baking. Now, I love to bake underneath my eyes. I absolutely love to bake underneath my eyes. I'm going to be using the Black Radiant Setting Powder in the color Banana. That is my absolute favorite. And to dust off the powder and to set my face, I'm going to be using... MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. There we go. The Mineralized Skin Finish. So just sit back and enjoy, guys. It's almost to the point where I the recording did work. <laughs> so just bear with me, guys. I love you. And don't forget to subscribe so that we can get this all the way together together. So, this is pretty much my face. Like, I got everything on. And I am going to, should I do my lips first and then show y'all my lashes? Or should I do my lashes and then do my lips? Well, you know what? I can't wait much longer. So, let me just show you guys my lashes. Sis, let me show you my lashes. Okay, period. So, first you have Miss CEO. Look at Miss CEO, you guys. Like, again, these are 25 millimeters, so they're a little long. For my girls who love them some long lashes, this is Miss CEO. Okay? Period. That is Miss CEO. And then you have Blessed. Look at Blessed. I mean, you can see why I call it Blessed. Like, these lashes are a blessing. Like, look at these lashes, you guys. This is Blessed. Period. And then you have this is what i say all the time keep slaying keep slaying okay look at come on keep slaying come on like keep slaying look at them they are so cute and then these are my favorites I named these the first thing I said when I seen them. Period. Period. With a T. Period. Okay? Look at these. These are 
so cute okay they are so cute so i think i'm going to be trying on what i think that i'm going to with this look here i think i want to put on keep slaying i think keep slaying is going to be really cute with that red ombre lip with this cute vibe that i cut myself this is the same wig if you forgot to follow me on instagram this is the same wig i bought a year ago or the beginning of this year but i just cut it into a bob because i hate my neck being hot in the summertime so i wanted a bob so it's the same wig but yes ladies i'm going to be putting on keep slaying keep slaying okay and yes so i know that these lashes the strip is kind of long so i already know that i'm going to have to cut it to size to my eye and that happens a lot with lashes i'll be having to cut it to size for my eye because i don't know sometimes these because these lashes are homemade and they're made in china it's like they're like long like they're really long so yeah so i'm going to measure them on my eyes and then i'm going to cut them and then I'm gonna apply them. And to be honest, uh -huh, uh -huh, baby, yes, I love it. To be honest, I really don't have to cut them because I'm loving the coverage on the eye like i'm loving how long it is from the corner of my eye to the center so i'm not going to cut them i'm going to keep it that way i'm not going to cut them now what i will cut is this little like corner piece on the edge right there i'm just going to cut that off because that's annoying yeah i'm gonna cut that off see there boom these just gave me life honey these just gave me so much life and i'm going to be using a duo lash glue usually i use hair glue y'all not on when i was doing makeup i didn't use them on my clients but i will always use hair glue for myself like if i was wearing lashes for a couple of days but since i'm going to be trying on all these lashes today um, not in this video. Remember, you got to follow me on Instagram if you want to see all the lashes. But I'm only going to use a dual lash glue because I'm going to be taking it right off and putting another pair back on. And I don't want to rip my eyelashes out. So make sure you guys are following me on YouTube. I mean, on Instagram at Sheree Marie Beauty all together. A little fan, a little drawn like that, period. I'm excited because these are mine. Like, they are my eyelashes. Like, nobody else's. They are mine. And I love how this beat came out. This is the beat that you guys always see me with. It's my everyday, glowy, you know, just makeup, no makeup look, you know. It's my favorite to do on myself. You always want to make sure that your lashes, I mean, your tweezers are clean because if you got glue on these tweezers and you're trying to put them on and you squeeze these tweezers down, it will take the whole lash off your lashes and you're going to be real salty. And the trick to doing lashes is I tell everybody, look down. You cannot do lashes like this. You have to look down. So I learned that from Makeup Shayla also. I'm telling y'all, y'all got it. You got to subscribe to her channel. So you look down. And you're able to see where you're placing your lash. Ooh. I ain't do this. Listen. I ain't gonna make up in so long, y'all. Ooh.
I ain't wear makeup in so long, like, my eyes start watering so fast. <sighs> that is a big lash, but this how girls is wearing them. This is how the girls is wearing them. Let me just get the. All right. Now these lashes are not something that I will wear every day. Cause me personally, I like more of a subtle lash. But I dropped this collection for my girls that I know that loves long lashes. So I want to have something for everybody. Cause again, like when I first launched my first batch of lashes, they were 18 millimeter. And that's more of my speed. But I want to have something for everybody. So. These are something that I will wear like when I'm going out. You know, like. When I'm doing something. With the, I'm, beat, I'm completely beating his face. Like. <laughs> a complete beat down. Okay. <laughs> that's when I will wear something like these. But. Yeah, these joints is long. 25 millimeter, baby. put no eyeliner on but I feel like with this look I want to put like some brown liner on um because I feel like my eyes look too like regular right there so I want to put something right there maybe like a brown or maybe a white should I do white I might do white I think white would be cute up under there I don't know I might do like a brown I might do like a brown. Brown down. You know, brown down. Mm -mm -mm. I can't find my brown, so I'm just going to do black. Might as well. This is my Kiss, I mean, I'm sorry, my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. these big old tops you definitely want to have a lower whenever you feel your eyes watering you just want to sniff like because that is going to make the tears not come down you ever try to do your lower lash line without making like an ugly face like like, you be sitting there like this, right? Like, this does not help at all. It does not move anything. So why do we do it? Like, why do we do it? <laughs> I'm just really trying to build these bad boys up so that they get really pop with the top ones.
I'm going to be lining my lips with, I don't even know where I got this pencil from, but it's like a dark, like pencil. See there? So I'm going to be lining my lips with this. Like a dark, like plum color, like a dark plum. drop my lip line this is going to be one of the combinations that you're going to be able to purchase I like to make that on my cupid's bow there look like one of them girls in the 90s with the long nails <laughs> yes all right so I line my lips with that and then I take this wet and wild cat suit in the color got goth topic can you see it wet and wild and then I'm going to go over that liner with this Super Stay Matte Ink, and I'm going to put that right in the middle. gonna spray her down and then I'm gonna bump my hair and I'm gonna come back okay so here you go you guys here is the finished look with my keep slaying lashes let me know if you guys would like to see how I do my ball cap and how I install my lace fronts let me know what other kind of looks that you guys would like to see let me know if you guys would like to purchase some of my lashes and yeah this is pretty much it
So until next time, ladies, you already know, keep slaying.